Hello, this is John Claiborne from the Bashful Puppet blog, and we're working on a prairie dog puppet. I'll bring the camera in. We're ready at this point to begin stitching the fur together. The mouth has been glued onto the palette, and we're ready now to begin using the ladder stitch that we demonstrated in a previous video to stitch the mouth together. I have pinned the puppet all the way around and now I'm just going to start stitching. What I've done is I've got this yellow thread and I have anchored it into the yellow fabric that is the bottom uh, chin area and the breast. I've anchored it in there so that the stitch is coming out the front. Now we'll just reach up here and do as short a stitch as we can in and out right here on through the orange fabric. Looks like I've got a small tangle wanting to form here. Got to be careful of those. They're a nuisance. What is going on? Alright. Now we're going to try to get few stitches in here before we start to pull it tight. Just back and forth uh, using the ladder stitch. It's really important with this that we get the, the seams set really nice and clean tight but not too tight if it's if it's if it gets too tight together here across the chin it'll make it hard to operate the puppet and uh, when I was making the first prairie dog it got too tight I had to pop it all out re-sew it because it was just too tight I couldn't operate the puppet. As you're going along you'll find that the um, pins get in your way so I try to leave them in as long as I can because they help to keep the project on pace with what you want. Alright, now I'm going to pull the stitches tight and I'll bring it up in there. Because of the qualities of terry cloth you can't see any stitching there at all. If I were doing it in the back here you would hardly see a seam. Now we've got to pull this pin. I'm going to do another segment. We're only going to take a couple of minutes of your time here in this particular video. I just wanted you to see some of the stitching here in action before I moved on so you can see how well this works here on the terry cloth and I've got what, seven or eight stitches here. See it moves right along. It won't take me much more than 15 or 20 minutes to do up this one side and then I can move over to the other. Um, some might say well 15 or 20 minutes you could have that done in next to no time with a sewing machine. That's true, but the disadvantage of a sewing machine in this case is that I would have less control over exactly how the seam is, is going to be falling together. And in this case, 
it's really important that I get precise control over how this seam lies so that when it uh, comes together it makes for a nice clean line in the way the pup puppet fabric falls for the operation of the puppet, ease of opening and closing the mouth, and the look of the puppet. Can't guarantee that as well with a sewing machine, so I like to do is hand stitching. All right, I'm going to keep working off camera on this, and we'll see if we can get both uh, the front, both the front seams done here on uh, both sides, and then we'll flip it over, and uh, we'll come back on camera as I make the final adjustments in terms of this back seam and trim it to get it ready to sew. All right, that's it. Well. For Bashful Puppet Blog, I'm John Claiborne. Happy puppet building.